Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today's video is all about our brand new signing which is Colton Morris from Barnsley. Now I am very happy with this transfer guys. It got rumoured like the last couple, well the last two days in fact by some Yorkshire um, journalists. Um, they were saying that Luton are going in for him for a fee of around £2 million. Now at this moment in time Luton when they announced the signing, they announced him as an undisclosed fee. Now, if it, this was our record signing, um, this would suggest to me that we would have paid £2 million. Um, what I'm trying to say is, I reckon we did pay quite a bit of money for him. However, there's going to be a lot of add-ons in place. So if he scores a certain amount of goals, um, if he hits a certain amount of appearances or you know, any potential moves um, if he goes from Luton to another club. So I reckon there's plenty of add-ons that have been put in place in this deal that will could, well, could potentially rise this transfer to £2 million. But I do think we have paid probably over a million pounds for Morris. But is the money worth it for him? Now, he is a 26-year-old striker. Um, Nathan said he wanted one more striker in, so as far as I'm aware, all the attacking positions are now, you know, filled. We have got the players which we need. We've taken two players from Barnsley now. Um, so, yeah, going forward, there shouldn't be any more attackers coming to the club. But I don't I don't want to hold my breath there. There could be plenty more to see. Who knows with Nathan Jones? But anyway, yes, he is a 26-year-old striker and... He offers a lot more to his game than goals. Now, if you look at his career, he's not a natural goal scorer. He doesn't scream goals. And the reason, I don't know what the reason for this, um, for this is, I don't know. I really don't. Um, when you look at his career, he's had a lot of loan moves. He's gone out, he's got experience, he's played a lot of games um, on loan. And then he's finally had a home, which has been Barnsley for the last two years. And you can see what type of player he is and what potential he has got in, in his locker, basically. Um, when you actually watch the style of, like, his style of play, it's very good to see. You know, he does a lot of the defensive side of things, you know, winning headers, tackles, you know, holding the ball up. You know, it's all right having the goals. We kind of have the goals, you know. It's so having him to maybe get the odd few, you know, it's a bonus. But I don't think signing him for goals is, you know, was the actual initial plan for Luton. I think he's going to be a more of like, he's going to help the others score the goals, which is great to see. Um, he's got good dribbling ability. He's good with the ball at his feet. You know, he has a lot of things that, you know, we can exploit um, against other championship defenders, which I can't wait to actually see. If you look at his stats as well, considering he was at, at no disrespect to Barnsley, a very poor Barnsley side. He had above, you know, above average stats against any other championship striker in the league. That suggests to me that he's an even better player than what I initially thought. You know, when you're able to produce like those types of, you know, statistics at a poor side, you know, it shows you what type of player you are and what, you know, what potential you have actually going to a club that's going to play the right football for you and what we could get out of you. I have full confidence that we'll probably get him to score a lot of goals this year. Um, although I've already said that, you know, he isn't really a goal scorer, I reckon we'll find the right style of play for him and then, you know, exploit it and hopefully see a lot more goals coming from him. I'm really excited to see um, Colton Morris play. You know, when you hear the Barnsley fans really disappointing that they've obviously let him go, um, they I've seen some tweets saying, you know, if he stayed in League One, he probably would have been the top goal scorer. Um, he would have been one of the best strikers in the league. Um, so when you're reading stuff like that, you know, it gives you full confidence that, you know, we've got a really good player on our hands. Now, if I actually look at this de um, this transfer in more detail, everyone keeps thinking, you know, Elijah Adebayo, he's going to leave Luton. Um, you know, there's no way we would spend this amount of money on a striker and then keep Elijah as well. I have full confidence that Elijah's going to stay. Um, there's nothing out there for me that's going to suggest that Elijah's going. I haven't, since the start of the, you know, the summer transfer window, I haven't seen anything about Elijah being linked to go to elsewhere. People have been saying Burnley. 
I, I don't know if Burnley going to grab him because Burnley may want to change their style of play. Maybe they don't want a tall big man up top um, like they have done over the years. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens from now to like the end of the transfer window, whether or not we keep Elijah. But I think we will. There's nothing that actually suggests to me that he will be going. And it just shows you how strong we are. We have money at the club. People act like we don't have money. We do have some sort of money. You know, we've been in the championship for three years. We are a well-looked-after club. The finances are, secu like, are secured. So, for me, there's nothing to worry about. You know, if the board feel like, yes, we can spend over a million pounds on a player, then, you know, we are going to do that. So, um, every, literally, pretty much every player we spent, or every player we've brought into the club has been, you know, we've brought or got on loan. So, we have spent plenty of money um, in this summer transfer window, which is probably the most amount of money we've ever spent in a summer. Um, but... It's good because it's improved the squad, it's getting the squad much better and I have really high hopes for this up and coming season. I honestly do, I really think we are going to produce some special moments um, throughout the season. But yeah, I'm extremely happy with the signing of Colton Morris, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the signing down in the video comments of this video. Um, that's pretty much it um, of my overall thoughts on Colton Morris. I think he's a fantastic signing. You know, we've got him at the correct age as well. And I just can't wait to see how well he will, you know, gel with the other looting players. He obviously knows Woodrow as well. So it's even better, you know. Everything's just, you know, it's looking really good right now. And I can't wait for the season to start. But anyway, guys, that is the end. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We are on the road of hitting 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So it would mean a lot, guys. If you do subscribe, it is free to do so. Don't forget to follow me across all, across my social media if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.